Rail system firearms. Rail systems on firearms are straight mounting brackets usually made of strips of metal or polymer on the gun's receiver, handguard, or for end stock to allow sliding slash variable position attachment of optical sights and accessories such as tactical lights, laser sights, vertical slash angled foregrips, and the pods. An example of just a few options that may be used depending on a mission's need for the M4 is Sopmont, amongst many other accessories like sling attachment points, which may be ether ring, loop, and slash or quick detach mounts using push button style hardware, to name just a few of the many options. An advantage with the multiple rail slots is the movable positions to adjust for optimal placement of each item for each different user along with the ability to switch different items at different placements due to varying eye reliefs on gun sights, scopes, and optics. Tactical usage and shooting sports have both benefited from the extra options provided. Rails as a term has evolved to cover both the actual rail pieces and the styles of handguards or forearms that are made with rails as the external surfaces. Original rails were a raised metal strip with the sides undercut, less standardized, than the dovetail design to allow hardware to slide on and be secured by means of compression only. The firearm often associated with, and that has benefited from rails, is the M4 carbine and M16 family of later models slash variants Atwal, A3, and Afur, with equal and even more use due to additional novelty items, is the Araminus 15. Most modern military and civilian semi-automatic firearm have rails that may replace original parts. Police and military-style firearms may include pistols, PDWs, carbines, rifles, submachine guns, light machine guns, and heavy machine guns. HMG have started to include and use rail sections and options for attachments of optics. Civilian clone rifles are the largest adapters, while the crossbows, hunting rifles, Shotguns and handguns have started to come from the factory with rail sections either attached and slash or made structurally as part of the actual firearm. Airsoft and paintball clone weapons will also likely have rails. Rail designs The common types of rail systems for firearms are the dovetail rail, including the Soviet variant known as the Warsaw Pact rail, the Weaver rail, the Picatinny rail, also known as the Amiel ST Demonis 1913 or Stanek 2324 rail, the NATO accessory rail, also known as the Stanek 4690. There are also non military designs used in shooting sports to attach slings and the pods, such as UIT rail and the Freeland rail. Amiel ST Demonis 1913 Picatinny rails date from the mid minus 1990s and have very strict dimension and tolerance standards. The Picatinny has rail of very similar profile to the Weaver, but the slot width is 0.206 in 5.23 mm and by contrast with the Weaver, the spacing of slot centers is consistent at 0.394 in 10.1 mm. Many rail grabber mounted accessories can be used on either type of rail, and accessories designed for a weaver system will generally fit Picatinny rails, although not vice versa. The Picatinny locking slot width is 0.206 in 5.232 mm, and the spacing of slot centers is 0.394 in 10.8 mm. Because of this, with devices that use only one locking slot, Weaver devices will fit on Picatinny rails, but Picatinny devices will not always fit on Weaver rails. Compatibility Adapters to other types of rail interfaces may be used for legacy issues and slash or to change the surface texture, abrasiveness and slash or overall outer circumference of the entire rails system for fit of the hand. Dovetail rail Weaver and Picatinny are all outward or raised attachment surfaces. While M-Lock and Keymod have smooth surfaces with different standards and styles of holes cut into their assembles to place the attachment hardware internally. Both of these styles of features are often on and slash or in the hand guards. All make the mounting and dismounting of these objects significantly easier. 
Items may be fastened by threaded bolts, requiring the use of a screwdriver or Allen wrench, with some tool-free variations of a thumb screws or thumb nuts, may have threaded quick disconnect lever that pulls the hardware and plates together against the rails. During firearm recoil, the accessory may slide within that section of rail. To help avoid this when tightening slide, the device forward in the placement slots so the section of bolt is against the vertical slash forward section of rail slots. Usage Rail systems usually are based on the handguard of a weapon and slash or the upper receiver. On modern pistols, they are on the underside of the barrel. Rails on rifles usually start off at top dead center or 12 o'clock with the next placement at bottom 180 degrees or at 6 o'clock on the forward section away from the buttstock with both sides 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock or 9 tidig degrees each side of top center 0 dig slash 306 tidig degrees becoming the third and fourth most common. 1 o'clock or 11 o'clock is popular for the flashlight with a tape switch location placed on user preference. There may be additional attachment rails or holes at each 45 degree angle position running partially or entirely the length of the handguard. On the Kalashnikov rifles AK style slash family, the Warsaw rail is attached to the left side of the receiver when viewed from the rear, with more modern versions adding Picatinny style rails onto the sides of the handguards of the rifles for the mounting of addition equipment. Due to updating equipment, both styles may be found on some Warsaw packed weapons. Modern designed firearms often include rails made into the body instead of being an added on modification. Older firearms may need permanent modifications of having holes drilled and tapped for screw threads to fasten the rail sections to the firearm. This is easier than milling out a dovetail slot for placement of a gun sight's parts. Optics like scopes, reflex sight, and red dot may be placed between the iron sights. Rail section may also come in various heights to help align equipment which may align with the original iron sights in line or below an illuminated optics center dot, ring or chevron. This is referred to as absolute or lower 1 slash 3 co-witness respectively. In addition to height variations, some rail brackets may be offset at various degrees 22.5 deg, 45 deg, and 90 deg are the most common to place accessories in slash or backup folding collapsible iron sights so they are out of the line sight on the top of the firearm and slash or to decrease the outer profile edge size. Then the original sights are a backup if the electronic optic should fail. The rail section may also move a weapon mounted lights forward so the flashlight UK torch does not shine and reflect back on the firearm directly, creating shadows and visual impairment from this illumination. The amount of rail space allows adjustment and personal optimization of each device and tool attached for the user. As designs have advanced the amount of space has succeeded the actual need of placement space. Thus rail covers and protectors may be added to prevent snagging on gear and slash or plant foliage. The six common types of rail systems for firearms are the dovetail rail, weaver rail, warsaw packed rail, picatinny rail, key mod and MLOK. Future rails systems will have the option of carry power to supply the needs of the increasing electronics mounted to aid the shooter and slash or soldier. Standards are still being determined for multiple countries. An example of such is NATO standards NATO accessory rail, which is continued improvement and standardization of the Picatinny rail.